Let me show you how easy it is to add a Shopify Marketplace Connect app. It is built by Shopify. It's a free app and it connects your store with Amazon, eBay, Walmart, and Etsy. So I will do with uh, Etsy adding for because that's the only one I have it. And you can see you can connect with Amazon, Walmart, with eBay, and with Etsy. What you do, you just press connect. Uh, unfortunately, you will don't see this field, but what you do there, you just grant access to the app through the Etsy or another panels and. The next step is when I grant access, it opens like, oh, marketplace is connected. And then there's Etsy shipping profile. No idea. Etsy return policy. Uh, I think I have everything generated there for these products because they are on the test. So no idea what is happening now because there is no explanation, but something is loading. So something is happening. Is it a good thing for Shopify store owners? Yes, because you can automate everything and you have one place which... Uh, generates how much stock you have it and then you can sell in multiple ones and when you sell out you know that you will not uh, oversell it because i had sometimes that problem for my other businesses so this is a really good product and i hope it works and oh it's a next let's see what's going on core attributes no idea what's happening here barcode settings save it i'm just moving on and oh yeah you can see there is a store Etsy seller account, Etsy profile, then there's a listings, price and inventory. Yeah, that's the most important thing for me is price and inventory synchronizing. And I want to just see if it's possible to add products from Etsy to Shopify or it works more that way to check out. But yeah, like this is happening and it takes some time probably because to read my... But I have only two products, which is... I don't know why it's happening that little bit. We can check there is an orders routing, orders page. And yeah, there's no orders for me. Then there is a mapping. No idea what is happening in mapping. But uh, let's see. Oh yeah, there's offer attributes, Q codes, quantity, price, custom property, lead, diameter, flavor. How oh, that's our like attributes probably. But I would recommend to create, yeah, if create attributes on Etsy, but if you know, I suggest always to do bulk. And here it is, yeah, you can see that's inactive is status inactive. And if I want to push it live on the Etsy, I just enable a member of my shop. Yeah, all these things, the standard Etsy things. But really interesting that it didn't read that the product is it on Etsy. Probably it's because of SQE codes and barcodes don't have it. So. That's how it works. You can uh, push your products from Shopify to Etsy. It's quite simple to build the listings and you connect them and you have one place where you can check how many you have left because it's very, I can recommend to sell it on Etsy, on Amazon, but always when you have a traffic, redirect your traffic, paid traffic to Shopify because there you have the biggest margins because Amazon and Etsy take a fee from each sale. So that's what I do. did it always, but people want to trust maybe more Amazon and Etsy because of refund policy, not your side, then they will buy it on there. There is option to have always a buy on Amazon button. It's also one of the Libote apps, but uh, yeah, it's quite simple. I think there needs to be some improvements, but I can see it can be done. Maybe we at Libote we will build some of them. As I'm testing, I already can see as a, experienced seller i can see there is some needs for it but i don't know need to wait for that fetching 20 minutes will take at least so i will if you have any uh, questions just ask me in the comments and i will be happy to uh, answer you so that's all that's how easy it is to set up the app you can and to synchronize your product listings and have one place where you can see all the what is happening with your stock